Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 3 and Expansions! Last time we left off, I don't really know what happened, because my video files don't exist anymore. Uh, and I usually watch those back to remind myself what happened. I do know that Sophie finished her book, and she's now just sort of sitting aimlessly here. I also know that I bought Kevin a flying broom, which I think I can actually put on a stand. Or, or not, I, I thought there was a broom stand. I'm sure I've used a broom stand before. Now what room might you put a broom stand in? The living room? Is it in the living room? No, it's not a plant, is it? Not really. Uh, it's definitely not a coffee table, though. Um... Um, the kitchen? <gasps> I don't know, where would you put a broom stand? The study, maybe. Ah, this looks promising. Magic wands? Bug case, alchemy cabinets, fairy train set, but but no broom stand, and no brooms either. Maybe it's under cars. No, it's not. Oh, it is! There we are, cars. Yes, brooms are obviously filed under cars. There we are, lovely. Right. It's blue, it shouldn't be blue, it should be red. Didn't notice that. Red, and red, and red, and that's just grey. Good, there we are. The red vacuum, lovely. Um, right, so Kevin is gardenizing his garden, and I forgot to change his clothes again. Uh, I will remember to do this eventually, maybe. Uh, Sophie, are you, like, stressed or anything? No, you're kind of hungry, though, so go eat some food. Apple pancakes, and then you can start writing... I don't know. A children's book? Not really. Poetry novel? I've never even... don't even know what that one is. Where's the thingy? There's a thing that tells you which ones are the best to write, and I can't remember what they are. Romance is pretty good. Myst I don't want to do romance because it's really, really bloody long. Mystery is fairly good. Also, it seems sort of illogical for her to be writing a romance novel when she hasn't done any romancing. So let's go for a mystery novel. And I can't remember what Rose was doing. Rose, what are you doing? You are getting something cut. And Monty, you are mm, finding stuff. Oh, your computer must have been dusty, I guess, Rose. Lovely, that's now got that cut. She wants to... Right, continue guitarising. Lovely job. Actually, no. Come in here and guitarise. Actually, no, I'm very... I'm such a changeable person. Go over there and guitarise. There we are. Kevin, how's your gardenizing going? Do we know what these mystery plants are yet? No. And um, that's not one of them. But no, we don't. Okay. I think we shall buy one of those watering majigs. Because Kevin can magic it to be useful anyway. There we are. Uh, hang on. Okay, I guess we're going to buy two of them. There we go. Lovely. Kevin, you can magicify those in a moment. Monty, where the hell are you going? Why are you dig- Are you going to dig up our garden? Really? Are you going to dig up our garden? You actually are- <laughs> He actually is digging up the garden. Apparently it's the full moon. Ah! The mystery book. What should we call it?
Whoops. Aha! The mystery of the hole in the garden. Go! Go like that! Sounds very... dramatic. Oh, he's off. There we go. He's... Monty found a gem. Okay, I forgive you. Even if it's a really, really rubbish gem. It's a gem, and she can get some... I don't really know. what. It's not exactly experience, is it? Like, you don't get experience in asking people to cut gems. I guess it's like, maybe you get to know the people you're sending the gems to, and they're more willing to do stuff for you. I've never really understood that. And one of these days I really need to check if the memory leak issue is fixed so I can put the reflection... Wait, I did that. I did that a couple of parts ago. Yes, I forgot to mention this. We're not buying a gem cutter. Yes, I forgot to mention um, reflections. We have them again. This thing is taking a hell of a lot of upgrading. Monty, are you finished destroying that? You really aren't. Okay, well that's one done, now there's just the other one to do. Stop reacting to Rose's guitar and she's not even doing it anymore. Silly dog. Where the hell are you going? Oh, forget the damned sprinklers. They're not even magic yet. Just go eat apple pancakes. Uh, Sophie, you're going to get... <laughs> She's annoyed by the squeaky toy. I'd be annoyed as well. Oh, he's magicking the other one now. Yeah. You don't want to stand the way in the way of Kevin and his magic. What with all them apples getting blown up. I wonder if we'll get any zombies come to pay us a visit today. Or maybe the magic blue glow will scare them off. Ooh. Uh, Kevin can now bestow extreme happiness upon Sims with the power of the sunlight charm, or call upon the dark forces, we're not doing that, uh, to spread pestilence curse, but be careful, power comes with price, and he wants to already cast the sunlight charm. Well, we can do that eventually. I don't know who will cast it on. Um, Sophie, probably. Since Rose tends to be at work. Okay, um... Speaking of Sophie, we still need to magic up a gift for her. I forgot about that. Um... Oh, come on. There we are. Magic up an apple. And then magic it into something else that is not an apple. And God only knows what we're going to... What's he doing? He's going to check out the broom stand, which isn't actually a broom stand, it's a vacuum stand. Anyway, once you've done that... Where are you going? You've got a dresser, you silly man. Use it. Right. Sophie is... Yeah, Sophie's now stressed. So she can go away and... um Paint. I know she finished her painting for Kevin, but she can paint another one. Just sort of generally for something. Don't stand in the way of the magic. Mandrake seeds. We've got plenty of those already. Maybe we could sell the moonstone. Or rather give her the moonstone. Why not? Let's do that. Uh, Sophie, don't pay it. Just just because it will complete his wish. Um, friendly, give, gift. The Moonstone. What the hell? My Little House. What the hell is My Little House when it's at home? Sophie! Have a shiny thing. Yes, it was exactly the same shiny thing that was just over there. What a lovely gift, thank you so much. Now we're going to put it back. Over there! <laughs> Jam with Kevin, he doesn't even have any music. No, she wants to give him another gift now, for God's sake. She's got a thing about... They, these two have got a thing about gifts. And he wants to have a pillow fight with her. No, thank you. Where the hell did Rose go? She's gone to look at the sprinklers again. Stop looking at the sprinklers and go to sleep, you silly lady. Oh, 
I'm very curious what that My Little House thing was. I don't know. I just don't know. <clears throat> okay. What's she painting this time? Uh, some kind of pineapple? I don't really know. Oh, well, she's having fun anyway, so she can, um... They probably all need to go to sleep, really. Still no zombies. I don't, I don't know why there were so few zombies. In my, um... My old Supernatural game, I got zombies, like, three times a night when the full moon was out. So I'm not really sure why that's happening, but oh well. Uh, Kevin, you need to go to sleep, actually. You've got work in the morning. I mean, go, going to sleep at 8.38 seems a little bit strange. Although I always complaining about being tired. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know why this reminds me, but it did. Um, a f hell of a long p time ago, I said I was going to redecorate the house in p when I had 10,000 simoleons. Um, I've now changed my mind. I'm going to do it as a part 50 special, just because I can't think of any other time to do it. Because I, I totally actually just completely forgot about it. But this way I can pretend that I didn't forget about it. Apart from the fact I've just told everyone. Excuse me, I'm still... Once again, I'm drinking a cup of tea. Uh, right. Sophie, you need to go to sleep as well. And I will magically dishwasherize that plate. There we are. Lovely. So when is everyone waking up? Five... Two-thirty? Good God. Five... When's Monty waking up? He'll probably wake up early because he's going to get lonely. I should get another dog. Just so they can sort of bark at each other without interrupting the humans. Still no zombies. Um. Don't know why. I'm not that I'm complaining. They don't do anything except get shot to bits by my pea shooter. Oh no, Aiden and Kevin are no longer friends. That isn't good. I'm going to have to have him spend the entirety of tomorrow getting to know his boss more. Oh god. And his co worker That's not a zombie, that's just a paparazzi. What the hell? What's he doing? He's thinking about sunflower seeds by the look of it. Oh dear, he seems to have a bit of a cold. Maybe he's thinking about hay fever, and what the hell, Rose is already awake. At one o'clock in the morning. Good lord. Um, okay then. She can... Um, she can go and buy some books, I guess, since she wants to learn new compositions anyway. That's not the bookshop. Where's the bookshop? I can never find the darn thing. There it is. Shop for books. Yes, go do that. Lovely. She, I've just thought, she needs to get her celebrityness up. How well does she know Aidan Van Gould? If she became his friend, she might manage to get her celebrityness up a bit more. That would be quite useful. Oh, God. We're being invaded by the paparazzi. Oh, no, you're not a paparazzi. Who the hell are you? Uh, who the hell are you and what are you doing here? Rose is glitching away happily. What? I, I don't... Now this guy's gonna... What are you doing here, Abby Cahom? And you should probably get out of the way. That man's going to... Tur Wait, he's not a paparazzi either. I swear he was a paparazzi. What? What? Hang on! <laughs> oh my god, Rose stole Kevin's broom! <laughs> Oh, we have got a zombie around. There we are, look, zombie. Myra Snipes. Um, curses, stop playing catch with the pea shooter. I need to get rid of the zombie. The hell, Rose just stole Kevin's broom. <laughs> I really don't know what to say for that. Uh, okay. Buy those. I'm buying the piano ones as well because of... Um, Sophie, I think they're both at level 7 at the moment, and that should be enough. 
Now go home very rapidly before you get zombied. Oh, well, no discount. That's upsetting. Right. Have Pea Shooter attack Myra Snipe. Yeah. Who the hell are these people and what are they doing standing outside my house? <laughs> Gossiping by the look of it. What are they doing? Why are you people here? Mind the zombie. Oi, zombie! The pea shooter is over there. Stupid oi. Curse you, zombie! You're supposed to be attacking the pea shooter. Ah! The zombie has been foiled by a door! Oh! And Rose is waving to the sleeping dog. Yes! Take that, zombie! You can't get through our door! We have very zombie-proof doors. And now where's she going? She's ta just casually standing hand on hip, tapping her foot, as every zombie should do. Patiently waiting for these people to stop talking so she can go attack me. She's a very patient zombie, clearly. Right, Rose, I... Well, you may as well learn. Uh, not the piano ones, because you don't piano. Learn that one. Oh, for God's sake, don't learn it in the bathroom. Damn it. I wish that wouldn't... Monty's now hungry as well. Poor dog. I really do need to get another dog. I might do that for next part. Just make another dog and court. Just add him to the family. We're not lacking in money anymore, which is the reason I didn't get two dogs the first time around. He needs to wash as well. Whoa, that was weird. We have a teleporting dog. Oh, there we are. Oh, of course you have to vaporise the book as well. Play guitar for at least four sims. Well, there's about three of them out here. Um, right. Well, don't go in the bathroom to learn this song, please. That's not very helpful. The zombies come to say hello again. Oh no, there's a door! Haha, <laughs> foiled by a door! Take that, zombie! Yes, go give up. Go be pea shooters. Finally, she might actually be doing it. Someone just woke up, I think. Kevin is up. He's going to come and watch the guitar rising. Uh, no, he's not. He's going to eat some food of his own. No, he's not. He's going to make some food. Uh, he's going to make some French toast. Whatever that is. Ah, the pea shooter is finally doing its job. Look at Rose go, she's a very fancy... Oh god, everyone's waking up again. I wish they wouldn't do this. Um, you can use the toilet, because at the moment... And then, then you then you can continue writing your... The Mystery of the Hose in the Garden. There goes a zombie. Actually, no, you can adopt a pet from a shelter. I... We may as well do that. Uh, wrong thing. I'll see if there are any pets I like. If there aren't, then I'll do the porting in thing. Right, let's see what Kevin's doing with his old cookery. He just poured milk onto a stack of bread. That's interesting. Rose is still guitaring away happily. Sophie's freaking out at the toilet. These people are still standing out here and talking. Rose has learned another book which she promptly vaporises. 
Uh, you've got one more book to learn, so please do that. see them. That's no good at all. That's a bunch of cats. I don't want cats. Come on, dogs. That's an elder. That's a puppy. Puppy, puppy, they're all puppies or elders, that's no good at all. Um, hmm. I think I will create a dog, like I said I was going to do. Originally, I will create a dog. Is that man going to continue playing cat? No, he isn't, okay. Right, well, as Rose carries on guitaring, Kevin Cooks. This man shouts at our pea shooter, Sophie does nothing, and Monty, I don't know what Monty's doing, Monty is murdering a squeaky toy. As all of that happens, uh, I shall end it here. See you next time.